This is the longest period of silence I have ever had to experience, and I don't like it, so apologies. Hello, and welcome to the Net Zero Nations Project Conference 2023. Are you happy? Good, that's a great place to start. Today is not going to be like one of these normal conferences that you go to and you sit and you get bored and you think, oh, good golly gosh, I wish I could be at work. Today is going to be interesting. Not because I say so, but because we have amazing speakers and the list of speakers is quite phenomenal. I've, I've hosted conferences and events like this for the last 12 years. And I can honestly say, I don't think I've seen such a distinguished list of speakers on a subject that has such critical importance. Can I just check? Can everybody hear me okay? Yes? yes? Thank you. Right. It's an honor to be here to do this Net Zero Nations Projects Conference because I've done it before. I did it in Edinburgh last year and it was simply stunning and Annie Shepherd from Salix is, was uh, at that conference, and people buzzed. People left and said, that was brilliant. People left and said, we need to start a community. We need to work together. We need to collaborate. And they were right. And that's why we're here. And that's why we'll be doing more of this, because it matters. For those of you joining us online, hello. Um, yes, so it's going out around the world. So um, if at some point during the day you get to ask a question, be sure it will come to find you. And there will be people all over the globe saying, oh, I know you. Um, I'm John Curtis. I'm the ex-head of sustainable transport for the Scottish Government. I left 12 years ago because I'd done policy for electric vehicles and charging infrastructure and bio, um, biofuels production. I put in hydrogen buses, the first in the UK in Aberdeen. I'd written the policies, got the T-shirt, and thought, good grief, what am I going to do now? Because I'm bored. And I was bored because we had all the policies, but nobody was really doing much. And I'm a doer. So I wanted to get out in the real world and see what it was like. And we created the biggest privately owned network of chargers in the world in Scotland. Which is a heck of a contribution that we have made, that I have made. And I'm very, very proud of that. But there's more to do. And I can't do it. And I'd spend my life going out and doing things like Country File Live. Hosting that. And Grand Designs Live. Talking about the integrated systems that we need to improve the way we lead our lives. Not from a, a pointing a finger at people, but more a, here are the things you can do, here are the ways in which we can all work together to make things better. But today, I'm just your host. My job, wrangle that lot, make sure they stick to time, wrangle you lot to make sure you get back in here after we've had a coffee, and that you all have the best day you can possibly have. So, to ensure that that happens, mobiles, please set them to stun. I say this every single conference I do, and somebody's goes off. So, there's an after party, and the first round of drinks is on you if your phone goes off. You've been warned. Um, there's no fire drills today. All the exits are clearly marked. So if a fire alarm goes off, just follow the big bald guy, because I'll be the first one out. Um, if you need the toilets, out through those double doors, across the, uh, where the balcony is, turn right, follow the blue signs, marked toilets. No more clues. Now, the first session runs from 9.30, 9.45, through to 11 o'clock. We'll break at 11 hopefully for 45 minutes of peace and quiet. Net zero, what's it worth? Is it worth zero? Or is it worth something? I suggest because you're here, it's worth a great deal. And we differ. We differ on quite what it means. I'm a transport expert, that's what I do. Built environment kind of matters to me because we can't work in isolation with transport. Renewable energy, yeah, that's kind of important too. We all have a part to play. Because, frankly, government 
sorry to use the G word, in Westminster, have stepped back. They are missing in action, suddenly. And we'll hear from our first speaker, Chris Skidmore, about the direction of travel for government and internationally, and what that means for us. But we have an opportunity, because in this country we set standards, we set targets, world-beating climate change targets, and we're going after them. But it's not the government that are going after them, it's you. You're making this happen. We need leadership. And I hear an awful lot of belly aching, saying, no, government, no, 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 no. They don't lead. We do. We are business. We create wealth. We make stuff happen. You have gone the hard yards to go through concept, design, delivery, testing, trialing, proposition, development, taking products out into the real world, and hopefully making some money. Because profit isn't a dirty word. And part of sustainability has to be the sustainable finance that goes with that, how we structure our interventions to make sure that we do make maximum impact, not just environmentally, but economically. It is laughable, some days, to call ourselves Great Britain. We are certainly British. We certainly are part of the United Kingdom. We can be great, but that will take collaboration. None of us can do this on our own. And today is part of a journey. I have seen people in this room I know, and I'm delighted to see you again. I have seen people in this room who I can't remember, but they say, they have seen me before, and they've still come back, so thank you for that. And there are new people who I've never met before in my life, but already I've had conversations that I know will change my direction, will help me do the things I do. There are good people in this room, people with integrity, people you can trust, people who know their stuff. I think I've gone on long enough. What we need now is to work together to deliver on net zero, not because government says so, not because I say so, not because eminent speakers say so, but because it is the right thing to do. We can make a difference. Who believes in this room we can make a difference? Hand in the air if you think you can truly make a difference to net zero. Then let's bloody well do it, because we can. We are human beings. We are really skilled at this stuff. We made this mess, and we're going to tidy it up. That said, I'm off my soapbox. You'll be delighted to know. You won't hear much from me for the rest of the day. I'll just do a quick summary of each speaker and then bog off again. So that's it. That's my stage. Happy days. Done, dusted, move on.